Previously on the Mega Co-op, we traveled to the garden and farmed all the way from zero to a scrolled Hyperion. Today, we're going to pick up and continue that series with a new goal in mind, the Spaceman. It's your boy Chips Ahoy and welcome back to the Mega Co-op profile. We just farmed from absolutely nothing to a hype only using the garden and we said we'd continue to garden 15 if the final episode got 3,000 likes. You guys absolutely smashed that. So first off, thank you so so much for all the support and secondly, we are men of our words and we are going to deliver the Spaceman. I just went ahead and threw the Hyperion back on the auction house because this is hard earned money that we're gonna need for set upgrades, for pet upgrades, and for making our way to that Spaceman. Hopefully that guy sells soon because I've told all the lads to get ready and hop back on tomorrow morning as this grind continues. So I'll be right back with them, but you guys should be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to grab my It's Your Boy Chips Ahoy bandana and to use code SWEET in the Bad Lion and Hypixel stores. Let's do this thing. Dragoon and Lotzi have showed up here to start us off, plus our hype actually sold. So let's hit the hub real quick. Then I can run over to the auction house, manage my auctions, and collect this two billion coins. We're back to being rich. We are back on the garden though to go for XP rather than money. So if we go ahead and check the desk, our garden has just hit level 13. It's 10K XP to level 14, and then it'll be another 10K to level 15. So about 20K XP away. And it actually shouldn't be that bad because if we go ahead and check our garden milestones and our crop milestones, we've made decent progress across the board. Wheat, carrot, potato, pumpkin, sugar cane, nether wart, mushrooms, cocoa beans, and cactus, except we left melons we have zero melons collected and so we're just going to put full focus on melons this episode and tear it up as much as possible if we tend to all visitors while tackling these melon milestones we should make it to garden 15 pretty quickly in terms of these visitors, we used a strategy where we tried to only unlock the legendary and rare ones in order to increase how many times those good ones visited. Since we went with that strategy, we have so many unique visitors that we haven't talked to at all. So that's the game plan for right now. We're gonna split up here, and I think I myself am gonna start building the melon farm while Lotzi and Dragoon work to get all of these visitors unlocked. Does that sound like a plan, lads? Yep. Sounds good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So Dragoon's going to take it from the end of the book. Lotzi's going to take it from the beginning. And I am going to start building. First things first, when building on the garden, I've got to configure one of these plots to be empty. Let's get that going so we have some space to build. Then in terms of the farm design, of course, we need full melons. So we're going to go for an entire plot of this. It is the most optimized pumpkin or melon farm design on the server right now, as well as the most compressed. Since we have nine people on the co-op, it's definitely most important that we have the most compact farm. So let's go ahead and take this design and start making it on our own garden. Of course, from the previous episodes, we've had to make farms. So we have a ton of farm building tools already ready for us. So I've placed a bit of soul sand as markers, as well as some helper blocks above. And now I'm going across the top and I'm gonna just go ahead and place the two rows for the very top layer all two blocks apart then we'll do the same on the middle layer and the bottom layer to make this type of a design we can hop in and remove our helper blocks and we've got the beautiful layers set up perfectly next up is definitely the hardest part i have to place a ton of trap doors in this design so i've placed one on the edge of everywhere that they have to be and next up we just have to go through place them all and then click them to make them upright and so it's gonna be five lanes of trap doors per farming lane yeah a lot of trapdoors a lot of trapdoors let's just jump into it ah. two hours later when these are all placed we can go back through with the builder's ruler and remove the helper blocks which is just going to be the soul sand here and then we'll be set to fill in the water to till the land and to plant those seeds once that is all complete, of course, we go back to the desk and make sure that we save this preset. So I'll save it as melons. In order to paste the melons, I'm going to need a lot of melon seeds. So let's go to the bazaar, buy a bunch of those. I'm also going to go ahead and grab a booster cookie just so that I can do this from now on on the garden. So let's eat that up and paste these melons down. 
Look at it go. Beautiful, beautiful. Once we finish pasting this across all five plots, we'll have to just touch up the edges to make the zigzag walking path. And finally, it will be time to farm. Back on our island, we do have, I think, four Fermento sets. So the gear is pretty much covered. Of course, we're going to want to upgrade this a little bit. But since we haven't farmed any melons, we don't have any melon tools. So... Let's go ahead and hit the auction house looking for melon dicers. We have a lot of money and a big task ahead of us, so we're going to want three to four decent dicers. I'm looking for cultivating, sunder, turbo melon, maybe dedication, all of the good stuff. I think we go ahead and grab this one. It's a dicer 3.0. It's got most of what we're looking for. This one's a little bit more expensive, but it's recommed. I'd say... We go for that one. This guy's similar. Let's buy that. For now, we'll just get one more. This guy's got 90 mil counter. I say, let's do it. Wow, look at that lineup. While we're shopping, I'm also gonna go ahead and grab a few Fermento artifacts. So I'll just go for the four cheapest. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Previously, we were using Mushroom Cows because they were best for money. But again, we're gonna change that. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy some elephants. We're gonna want some level 100s with bandanas, yellow or green bandanas. I'll just go ahead and grab this guy. With all of this good stuff, I'm gonna head back to the garden and just quickly jump in for our first melon milestones. Again, we're starting at zero melons and the goal is to max it out as well as get garden 15. There's milestones one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten to start us off unfortunately i have to hop off quickly for dinner now but with dragoon and lotzi getting all the visitors we'll be able to begin our farming grind early tomorrow morning now i'm back on and we're gonna warp to the garden because lotzi i believe has gone crazy as well we got unique visitors served upgraded and we got melons up to 26 now it's been less than 24 hours and we're already 61 percent of the way to garden 14. We grabbed a fermento set and Lotzi's actually in the farm using our first elephant, so we're gonna have to grab a second one of those. Let's go ahead and pick up this one for 35 mil. Before we jump into the farm, of course, we have to tend to every visitor in these days and we got a cookie so we can do that just from here. I'll grab three mutant warts and a ton of other goodies to just run through these guys. Bang, bang, bang. What did that give us? Another unique visitor served milestone. Let's go. But for now, we'll set our boot speed to 298, and we'll jump into this wacky new farm. We've got three people farming here on three different farms, so we're actually doing pretty well. I'm gonna take a break for a second because with so many people farming, we get visitors crazy quick. So time to run over here and make some trades again. All it takes is a few purchases, and then we can just click through them. While we're over here by the desk, let's go ahead and hit crop upgrades. I kind of forgot to do this earlier, but melons, since we didn't really farm them, are only at tier two out of nine. Let's go ahead and get tier three, tier four, tier five, tier six. And lots you got tier seven. Awesome. That's a ton more farming fortune. And we'll jump back in the farm. But first, I want to go ahead and buy some overgrown grass to get that nice mossy reforge on this set. So we'll make the purchase and then Puffin can apply it when he's back on. So here we are farming melons, 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 melons. My hotbar is actually wild with how fast the melons come in. Trading with this many visitors is just making progress so quickly. Guys, we're already 71% of the way to Garden 14. It's actually crazy. So we just got to warp back to our spawn point and keep going. Reminder that we're only about 26 hours in to this series extension. So doing really well. Check it out. Check it out. We've got our first melon contest. Throughout the first 10 minutes, we've been taking breaks to fill visitors. So we're not going to get a gold here today. But hopefully after this and a few upgrades, we should be getting a gold every single time. Hey, yo. I'm going to go ahead and grab 196 pumpkins for this trade here. But check it out. Melon 27 has been obtained. That is 50 million total melons so far. Tier 28 coming up next. So I've been flying through this farm for quite a while now and just realized that I need to get my cakes going. We'll go ahead and visit Portal for it. Five farming fortune that I've been missing out on, but we'll now have for the next 48 hours. We got 882 farming fortune. So let's do it. As expected, the next contest rolled around. I've been focused on this gold because I really want it 70k over. And we'll have it in just 3, 2, 1. Let's go, man. 1.3 mil in 20 minutes. It's a pretty decent pace. Let's go ahead and claim both of those rewards. Then we can buy 10 extra tickets, turn to Anita, and grab plus 1 level 
farming cap. Farming 53, baby. That's huge. Yo, check this out. Dalbrick here is asking for two polished pumpkins. And in return, we get a green bandana. That's some nice money. After his group of visitors, we're only 10% away from garden level 14. More golds for the boys. Can't argue with that. Visitors always fill up during contests. So let's go ahead and make some trades here. And we've been doing really good on these unique visitors. There are only 10 now that haven't visited, but I think a couple of them we can actually go ahead and grab ourselves. Maybe they slipped through the cracks or maybe they just have unluckily not shown up yet, but I wanna make sure that they're gonna come soon. So let's go ahead and talk to Andrew in the hub here. And then there's actually a season of Jerry coming around so we can head in there to talk to Terry. That's, uh, I think that's all we can do though. So back into the farm we go. On the grind with Dom out here. And I believe in just a couple seconds, we will go ahead and hit yet another big melon milestone. And there it is. We're now up to melon 28. Why was that so big? Well, we got 280 garden experience from it. So that and just a handful of visitors will be enough for garden level 14. That's awesome. Only 10k more XP to go for the spaceman to arrive. So warp garden and back into the farm it is. Progress, progress, progress. Our dicer is up to cultivating 10. That's a hundred million collection on it. Oh man, I think we're gonna have to call it here. It's getting to the end of the day. And if we go ahead and check milestones, I'm just one off of another unique visitor served milestone. So I've been trying, but unfortunately a unique visitor does not want to visit. That is all right though. We'll just quickly go ahead and serve the two visitors that we do have. Then we'll hit the enchanted agronomy sack for all of our melon blocks. We can throw it all in the bazaar for 70 mil and then an extra 17 mil. But guys, day two for me is over and we have made insane progress. We got garden 14 and now we're already over 10% of the way to garden level 15. Can't wait to keep this grind going. Guys, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and use code SWEET in the Hypixel store while I go ahead and take this gear off and throw it in the chest. Good night. Just like that, we are back. Let's go ahead and grab a beautiful set. Off to the garden. Beautiful, beautiful. We're up to melon 29. Then at 30% now to level garden 15. Let's get into it. Melon 30. Let's go, let's go. That puts us at over 150 mil collection. Yo, Terry arrives on the garden. That is so hype because it is the last unique visitor we need until we have that part of the requirements for the spaceman complete. And he's giving me overgrown grass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's amazing. I went and put a buy order in for four more overgrown grass. Plus, earlier today, I made a trade with a gold forger for overgrown grass. Now, we're here with Terry for overgrown grass. Guys, we now have six of these things. We're going to use four and sell two, but still, that's 120 mil from dealing with visitors. Along with being 50% of the way to Garden 15 now, we are so close to Spaceman. Let's continue farming. We've hit another visitor milestone. This next one is 350 visitors. And, uh, it's a lot. We've been spending a lot of money and a lot of coins on these visitors, but it's paying off. The results are showing, so can't be mad about it. There's no way. Guys, there's literally no way. Three enchanted cane here one two three and that makes us another 60 million coins because it's another overgrown grass that's three in one day oh my gosh the hype for this mega co-op content is real 62 percent by the way and counting warp garden let's get farming all righty all righty finishing off day three here as it's getting pretty late let's just go ahead and tend to these last few visitors They've done us pretty well today. We've already completed 70 trades since reaching this new milestone. We're also over 50% of the way to Melon 31, and we're sitting at 71% of the way to Garden 15. Back to the island, let's drop off our gear and get some rest. Back on the next morning, and we're not letting up. Let's keep the grind going for sure, for sure. By hitting Melon 31, as well as doing a ton of visitors, Lotzi went crazy, and so we are already 90 
six percent of the way to garden 15 at this point that final four percent should just be a couple quick rounds of visitors so we've got me Lotzi, and dom here to finish it off ideally you should be able to hit it within the hour so vibes are high look i know there's a contest going on but we have priorities the visitor queue is full and i think just two rounds here will get us over the line bang bang trade 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 99 percent farm 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 visitors are full here's the first trade and on the second trade with Jerry, which is going to be pretty poetic here because Jerry, if you guys don't know, is the very first visitor that visits your garden. And he's going to be the very last visitor for me asking for melon blocks, which we've been farming to get us over the line to garden level 15. G G. You get all this stuff here, you know, crop growth, skyblock XP, the barn skin, but most importantly, it unlocks the spaceman. So right now it's about continuing to farm those melons and unfortunately turning away visitors until we finally get that extremely rare spaceman to appear. Hoping for some decent luck, but check it out. Garden level 15, that's just, that's beautiful. Truly beautiful. By the way, Dom has made two good points in the Discord here. This spaceman may take three to five business years to come. Also, we got Garden 15 at only 858 visitors. That's pretty wild. You know, I had hoped for a quick astronaut appearance to start but it's been about 10 hours now since we got the last level and he is nowhere to be seen so hopping off soon and gonna continue tomorrow but we've already seen a couple hundred visitors at least he hasn't been one of them just gotta hope he's in the next hundred grind don't stop grind don't stop we are back at it the next morning spaceman did not come overnight but melon progress was obviously made we're up to melon 33 and have 325 million collected but the goal of today is obviously the spaceman so we've got three visitors waiting for us right now but we'll turn them away and keep grinding till the red name appears so yeah we're still farming melons it's going life's good we're getting a lot of melons that i just haven't been selling they've been going straight into my enchanted agronomy sack and i've just reached 3,000 enchanted melon blocks right now the npc price is actually better than the bizarre price so i think it's a good pretty good time to go ahead and sell i'm sitting at 1.63 bill right now it'll be some pretty amazing money for sure and let's see i am ending here with about 150 million coins profit a couple more days passed and at this point it was seeming like the spaceman would never come but then oh my god oh my god <laughs> yo let's hop on let's hop on let's hop on tp to plot three type 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 dude that's him that is him every morning when i wake up the first thing i've been doing is checking discord and finally i get the message that the spaceman has arrived three or four days to grind from garden 13 to garden 15 and get all the requirements and then it was another three to four days of 24 7 grinding for the spaceman to arrive polished pumpkins okay that's not bad 3906 of them let's see if we can put in a buy order hopefully it'll go through 3906 six it's under a bill that's that's a gg because if we had gotten a spaceman who's asked for a cactus it would have been two bill so under a bill let's put in that buy order and let's hope it goes through dude i'm so hyped right now let's go that buy order might take a long time to fill so we're back in the farm and we just got our third melon dicer to cultivating 10. we're also about to hit 500 million melons at 498 right now and bang there's the milestone 500 million melons in less than a week and here we are the buy order i think finally went through 748 to claim which is the end of this polished pumpkin purchase we can go ahead and make this trade this is a monumental moment bang space helmet collected wow can you wear this thing yes let's go g g g g had to do it with lots of here of course because he hard carried the collection as you just saw in that last clip we are at over 500 million melons Lotzi got almost 300 mil of that himself. I'm a little higher just because I had previous melon collection. I probably got about 120 million. Kind of crazy though because my high melon collection does get me ranked. I am top 300, number 295 in melon collection at 480 mil. And we might still have another 500 mil ahead of us. The goal was the spaceman. But again, I will set a light goal. If, if this gets, I don't know, Lotzi, what do you think? Uh, 6,000 likes? Let's say 6,000. <laughs> if this gets 6,000 <laughs> likes, we will continue to max out 
melon collection and maybe go for some more and continue to max out this garden. The power is in your hands. Be sure to hit that like button if you want it. Also, be sure to use code SWEET in the Hypixel store and be sure to put some respect on Lotzi's name because he's the number one farmer and he definitely proved that on this profile and this series. Anyway, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it and I will see you all hopefully in the next one if you hit this like goal. Adios and goodbye. Thank you.